They see far very good. So, you know, we see each other all the time, which I'm always very grateful for. You know, you know, Marco and Ellie have stayed friends over the years. <laughs> it's very great. Yeah. Also, I hold you dear to me because, you know, you are Marco's ex-girlfriend. Yes. It's really important. I'm the only one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for Marco, yeah, you'll always be his first, you know, crush, love, kiss. So, I have a question. Yeah. Is it, like, was... Was I... Like the the best kiss. I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> um, were, were you my first kiss? Like in real life. No, but you know oh, what's I funny? I was true. No, but you're almost true because oh, no. when I found out I had to kiss you on the show, yeah. um, I hadn't kissed a boy. And I went to summer camp um, for the first half of the summer or something, or I went for the whole summer and then I would leave to film Degrassi. Um, and I... There were only two girls in my cabin, myself included, who hadn't kissed a boy yet. And I was super stressed about our upcoming on-camera kiss. So I sort of orchestrated and like arranged to have my first kiss that summer before I went on set. So how was it orchestrated? Did you play Spin the Bottle? No, I did have a crush on this guy named Jesse. Oh, that's He was cute very name. sweet. I'm really jealous. And I remember where we were when we when we made out for the first time. You made out before you kissed me? Yeah, it was my first like real kiss. Yeah, but like you used tongue? Yeah, but wow. I remember being I'm really so freaked out. Right well, you didn't use tongue with me, <laughs> heads up. No, but anyway, I know, this guy but did. I just, you have to be like five, like two minutes ago me, thought I was your first kiss and now there's I'm tongue. I'm sorry. It's okay, continue, but I have to hear it sometimes. But the rest of the story is that we made out and it, like freaked me out because I hadn't done it before and I thought it was so weird you know like, like tongue a tongue touching. in your mouth yeah. and like yeah, yeah. oh and I I had a very like strange feeling about it but I I felt prepared for my job that's how professional I am that was you did your research you did yeah um aside from Margo who were like at least stand out boyfriends to you Ellie ended up having quite a few storylines with guys um there was Sean I thought Sean was hot I thought that was a hot relationship. Don't you think? I thought, you know, Daniel Clark was so it. cute. Yeah, he was working out a lot back then. Yeah. Eating those turkey packs and yeah. drinking chocolate milk, I you know? That, and we were yeah. young. Yeah. He was on his He game. was like body bodybuilding at like 16. <laughs> like and I was earlier. just like eating carbs in the corner. Yeah. Know what was um, that <laughs> was a good one. Um, who else did, oh, but yeah, who else did you get? Jesse, the editor. At the, Very at cute. The door. Very cute. Um, he was super cute. That was interesting. Yeah, they brought him on to be my older. Was that? Was that all? Was, you, was those what? Huh? Those were the only two. People. No, and Craig. And Craig. And Craig. The big movie ending. Mm -hmm. So they got together in the end of the movie, right? Jurassic Coast Hollywood. Yeah. No. Don't they run and kiss each other at the airport? Yeah, and then she leaves. They're yeah, not together. Yeah, but it's implying that like they'll connect again. I don't know. Hmm, interesting. I don't know what happens. Something in the that end you with know them. the fans could try to solve. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love a good open-ended ending. Um, I mean, of course, like there's the whole cutting storyline and and, mm -hmm. and all of that. But like, is there a moment particularly in the show, playing Ellie, that stands out for you, like in the storylines? Something that you liked, that you thought, wow, like this is, this is a really impactful storyline. I had really good stuff, so I had a, I had a lot of that. Because um, there was your dad, there was the cutting. Yeah, and like a version of the cutting, and I mean, all there's parallels within all of these issues that the characters had. But um, she had a drinking problem at one point, um, oh, true. like a couple times. Um, I thought all of it was super interesting, and and none of it was anything I had experienced in my own life, so that's where the challenge came in and also where a lot of the fun came in, like using your imagination to um, try and feel what it might be like to go through these things when you had it yourself. So that was very cool. And then there was a little phase, you know, before the... Degrassi Goes Hollywood movie 
when things got lighter. Yeah, and it was the university house got much lighter. Yeah, and I, I actually yeah. became sort of the comic relief in some of the episodes. Like, I was the subplot, and it was about... They had me doing some very, like, comedic things, and it was a strange um, shift. And I liked that in the end it went back to how it started. It was closer to, to that tone, but... Well, I think maybe the comedy part came from the fact that, like, Marco Page and Ellie, at that point in the universe, they just become such good friends. So, like, there was, yeah. like, this kind of shorthand between them. Yeah, and very like dry we made fun humor. of each other, yeah. And, and her stuff with Jesse and getting cheated on. And yeah, yeah. Even, I mean, maybe it was just how I played it, but I reacted in this very, like, comedic way. Or I, or I had... I guess I was growing more as an actor, so I was thinking about different levels and um, bringing a sarcasm yeah. to her. But that was fun for me because I got to play funny stuff in addition to all the really heavy stuff. Do you have an Ellie trivia for me? Yeah, stump me. Questions about Ellie for yeah, you? Yeah, but okay. you don't think I would know. Just give me one. Let's see if I can do it. What instrument did she play in the band? Jeez, this is insane. I can see it. I can see you. I can see you playing an instrument. Mm -hmm. Tambourine was Manny. Maybe it was you. Someone throws a drumstick though, but you didn't play drums. And why would you have thrown drums to get Manny? Were you playing a ding? A little ding triangle thing? Well, we were in the band for years. Yeah. Which is hilarious because we don't play instruments in real life. Yeah. So that's great. Do you know which one I play? The guitar. Which one? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> no, it's like a type it was of... It a red one. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. It was a bass. Oh. Bass guitar, but I don't remember yours. I say a triangle. That's rude. <laughs> Obviously, I'm better than the triangle. It was a the tambourine. drums. You didn't play the drums. I thought Shane played the drums. You had two bands. Shit. I played you guitar. Play the drums because that's why band. you threw it at Nanny's head. I knew Remember, it. Craig teaches I knew it. Ellie it was how to all... play the drums, and we have like a sexy drum. Yeah, you're so. I was my, my bands were mashed up. Did we have a band name? We played at the wedding, and I think we slayed it. You were, we were downtown Sasquatch. No, we were downtown Sasquatch. You were not that. <laughs> what were we? I know what we are. It'll come to I don't me. think we had a this name. This is good so we don't get Alzheimer's. We have to rack our brains. I don't and think we had a name. Ourselves. I don't think we had a name. Yeah, we did. Of we course just we played did. weddings. We got a, almost had a record deal. Oh, we did. Shoot, and I let, like, now Jake's gone. I think we're going to have to figure it's it out. It's not like, um,. No idea. You sure, we're not downtown Sasquatch. No, we're downtown Sasquatch. No nope. boy band. <laughs> By we, I mean Shane and and Jake and Aubrey fictionally behind me. So we'll have to get back. If and any, me. Uh, if any of and you. And me. No. Remember the episode where the photographer, the manager comes in. Sorry. We were all in the band. But you're you were so rude that you cut me out. No, because you came later. You yoko that. That's that that band. Yeah, but remember when they, we Jake do the photo away. shoot and and it's that manager keeps putting Jake and Craig yeah. in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all in no, that. No, that wasn't that. No, that was with Cassie and or no with uh, Ashley Isaac. No, she wasn't in the band. <laughs> She's there are too many band. bands. Essentially, we have absolutely no idea what this band um, name is. Yeah. So if you guys know, please you know tweet it or whatever it's at us because I have no clue. Um, Stacy Farber. I love, I love you. Thank you for being my first girlfriend. You're welcome. And, you know. Thanks for being my first girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs>